Hello, and welcome to the SMED portion of our LEAD Champion program. SMED is simply an acronym for Single Minute Exchange of Dogs. It was originally applied to stamping equipment, but it can be used universally for any type of equipment where we do a changeover. SMED, Single Minute Exchange of Dogs, refers to single digit minutes, in other words, less than 10 minutes. So that's our target with SMED, is to reduce our changeover time so it's done in less than 10 minutes. First thing that we have to start with is a definition of changeover. Now I'm standing in front of our um, Haas CNC mini mill. Lots of changeovers are done on this piece of equipment. So we have to have a mutually understood definition of what changeover is. And here's that definition. It's the elapsed time from the completion of the last good part of one run to the completion of the first good part of the next run. And that entire elapsed time, no matter what is going on. So that's the definition of setup time we're going to use throughout the program. The stages of SMED, in other words, the, the journey that we travel when we're doing setup production, we usually start with no distinction between what must be done while the machine is stopped and what can be done while the machine is running. In SMED, we call that internal setup and external setup. Internal setup are those things that are done while the machine is stopped. External setup are those things that are done while the machine is running. In other words, external to the machine itself. Now as we go down this journey, if we haven't looked at setup production before, typically where we find ourselves is there's not really a distinction made between internal and external setup. Some of the stuff we're doing uh, when the machine is stopped, we might have been able to do while the machine is running. There isn't really a good distinction. So the first most important step to get beyond stage one is to make that distinction. So we separate internal from external setup. How we're going to do that, you'll see when we get into the classroom. So we're going to videotape the setup. We're going to analyze that videotape and say, what's currently being done externally and what's currently being done internally. Okay. So that's stage two. Stage three is our conversion of what's currently being done internal to external. I'll give you an example. If we shut this machine down, and we have a list of uh, list of tool changes right here. If we shut the machine down and then go find those tools while the machine is down, that's an example of what we're currently doing internally that we might have been able to do externally. In other words, if those tools were pre-staged right here at the piece of equipment while the equipment was running, that would allow us to reduce the change over time. We wouldn't have to go looking for tools. So we have converted what we were doing internally to an external setup. That's stage three. Stage four is to continually improve both. So if we get all the stuff that we can possibly do externally on the external setup, and we're just limited to internal setup for internal, then we have dramatically reduced time. Stage four is, okay, how can we do the internal setup faster, and how can we do that in external prep faster? Now, there are eight parts, eight principles of this system. The first, I've already told you about. we got to separate internal from external setup. And then number two, as I said, we have to convert internal to external setup. Now, now it gets a little, uh, a little fancier. We have to standardize functionality. That means um, when, we, when we look at this piece of equipment, we don't have to figure it out every time. There's standard functionality that we follow. We're going to try to promote clamps um, over fasteners. So fasteners are typically things we thread on. It's very, very time consuming. So we want to we want to use clamps whenever we can. Um, the fifth one is intermediate jigs. So if we can somehow set up, and this is a great example of an intermediate jig that's built into this Haas machine. It is a tool changer. So that's an intermediate jig. We load that, preload that. So when we do the changeover of the tool, it's done very, very quickly and done automatically. Okay, that's intermediate jig. Adopt parallel operations. Now, parallel operations typically refers to people. So, while I'm running this machine, if I'm involved as an operator in the cycle of this machine, parallel operations would mean something else is going on at the same time. So, we're either prepping the material we need, we're prepping the tools we need, we're prepping the information we need at the same time. In other words, in parallel. The other is to eliminate adjustments very often. Part of important part of setup, a time consuming part of setup, is adjustments. We can eliminate adjustments by using positive stops. There's lots of tools to eliminate adjustments. 
and then mechanize an element. So the last thing we look at is mechanizing the elements. So in other words, apply technology to reduce time. Notice that most of the other stuff was just rethinking the setup or using very, very simple mechanical devices. The last thing we do is apply capital, money to mechanize elements. So those are the eight principles of the Smith system.